everyone, so today I'm going to be um, showing you how to use the Scott Cornwall Colour Restore in Chrome. It's a toning hair colour, um, it lasts up to 8 washes and it says it creates blonde metallic tones with no peroxide, no ammonia and no PPD. So there you have it. Um, so you have to apply it to towel dried hair, so I've just washed the bleach out, I've just coloured it up a little bit more at the top. Um, Give it a nice, even, lighter colour, but as you can see, there is quite a bit of yellow in there. Very pale yellow colour. Um, you can still see the ends from where they've kind of gone so white that they never don't look that colour anymore. Um, and hopefully all of my hair um, will be looking silver. Now if you've seen my other videos, you'll probably be a little bit surprised at the fact I've cut my hair off. Um, I did it about week and a half ago. Um, yeah, basically it wasn't because of the colour or the condition or anything like that, it was just because I just honestly got sick of it and wanted to change and wanted to kind of have a bit of a kind of lighter feel to everything for summer. Um, we have had a crazy heat wave here in the UK and um, yeah, it turns out that I didn't cope so well with 31 degree heat with two foot long hair. So yeah, had a go. Um, and yeah, so now my hair's considerably shorter, so obviously the application procedure will be a little bit different. Um, let's get started. So this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it says colour chrome on it down here. Um, and this is the kind of colour it should be coming out. Yeah, a nice size tube. It's actually 100ml, which it says down there. Um, and once it's open, you can keep hold of it for 12 months. Not sure if you can see that. Um, so yeah, you should be able to use that for more than one application unless you've got crazy long hair like mine used to be. I have to excuse my um, shower area. We're actually in the middle of replacing it after it caught fire a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm actually not using the shower at all at the moment. So I've had to be like washing my hair and colouring it and everything, washing it out under the bath taps, which is mental. I can really see why our ancestors invented the power shower. Um, anyway, we're getting a new one put in at some point next week, hopefully. Well, the shower itself's arriving next week, um, and so yeah, I'm just going to get someone to put it in. Now, instructions for this. It's got two different instructions, depending on wh whether you want to, as they say it, create a shade or maintain a shade. Now, because my hair's all looking pretty much pale yellow, I mean, even these bits that are looking whiter compared to these bits, they're still not really got an awful lot of toner on them. Um, and when it dries it all kind of looks yellowy so we're going to be using the creator shade instructions it says 20 minute intense development um, for intense neutralization of warm and yellow tones and to create a new color restore shade always conduct this method for best results wash hair blah 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 instructions towel dry hair check squeeze a small amount of this into a gloved hand and smooth evenly over the hair, combing through hair for several minutes. Leave to develop for a further 20 minutes, then rinse under warm, not hot, and that's in bold, so really I would say probably like cool. You know that temperature that's like, it feels a bit warm to your hands, but then when you put it on the back of your head it still feels a bit cold, probably that kind of temperature. Um, it says no need to condition, so it's actually a conditioning colour, and it says dry in style as normal. So let's get started, I'm just going to put the gloves on. So I've got my gloves on, and I've got a comb, because it said we need to comb it for several minutes. I've got my colour restore, and I'll obviously be using the uh, recording clock on my phone as the timer. So obviously however long this is recorded for is how long it's been on for, from the point at which it's blah blah. Right. This is what it comes out like. Kind of a weird kind of browny purpley colour. And in the absence of any other instructions. I'm going to do what tickles love best. Um, I'm going to splotch it on. I love that word to get into the dictionary. Splotch. It's a good word for this though, isn't it? Onomatopoeia. I don't know that this is going to give a particularly strong colour result. But we have got some um, direction silver toner on hand should this all go wrong. I will still show you obviously how this came out first because I don't want you rushing out to buy something. It's 11 99 at that um, if it doesn't actually work. And as you'll remember from my bleach white toner, 
I'll link to around here somewhere. Um, I can be brutally honest about what I think about these different hair colours because at the end of the day, if it's crap, you need to know it's crap. Woo! Right, so that 100ml should be enough for more than one application. And as you can see, I've got fairly short hair. But I'm not utterly convinced that it's going to be good for one application. I'm actually concerned I might have to buy another bottle. Oh my god. Wait, in the middle of colouring. That's just not what you want to hear, is it? It's always my worst nightmare in colouring is that I'll be in the middle of colouring my hair and I'll just run out of um, product. I don't have like nightmares about it or anything, but I do have nightmares about having like dodgy bits of ginger in my hair or weird hair colour, like, you know, badly bleached, kind of messed up. Yeah, might just be me being obsessed with hair colourant. But once you get to about this much into the bottle, there's obviously still quite a bit of product left in, but it's not coming out very much, so I've just bent the top over, squeezed all the air out as much as I could, and bent it over in the hope that, like with your toothpaste, some more will come out. It is resisting quite a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure there's going to be enough for more than one application. However, you only like that. A couple more bits to do. right at the end of this bottle now and it was saying that this was multiple use so I would suggest this is like just not squeezing very well because it's a yeah, plastic tube not a foil tube um, it seems to be very difficult to actually get the uh, last bits of stuff out Whoa. apparently if you grab the end and twist it as if you're trying to take the lid off that seems to work Seems to just get some of the last bits out. It's just landed on the instructions, that's fine. Ah, scoop, scoop, scoop. Oh, this bit's not looking like it's got any on. Put like three lots on now. And that's part of the problem with this stuff, is that I've probably actually used too much. Maybe that's what's happened. Because it comes out so. Because <sighs> it comes out on your hair quite colourless. It's actually hard to tell whether you've put enough on or not. So maybe I have used far too much. But I'd rather use too much colourant than not enough colourant. Now it's time to comb for several minutes. I'm presuming I'm going to speed this up. I've just changed combs to this one because it's a bit narrower than the other one. Um, uh, I just needed to clean it off though before I used it. Um, what's happening is lots of the product is coming off on the comb. And what I'm doing then is just turning it side down and putting the product back on the hair again. Uh, just to make sure. But definitely getting it evenly on there. Woo. Now if you've got woo <laughs> if you've got longer hair, do use a wide angled comb, not a narrow comb, toothed even. Use a wide toothed comb. Um because what you don't want is yeah, I have used far too much of this product. Okay, so moral of the story, use less product. It goes on a little bit invisible, but it's on there doing the job. Um, so yeah, but if you've got long hair anyway, back to my original point, um, use a wider toothed comb than this to comb it through, because if you are going from root to tip with a comb like this, you will tear your hair out if you've got long hair, um, because of physics. Um, it's because the force against the root of the hair gets greater the further away from the root of the hair you go. So as you go towards the tip, the force gets bigger until eventually it's so high that it just rips the hair out. Now, I don't think that 
we need to really keep combing this I think we're getting as much out of this as we need just make sure every inch has been combed in and then it says after you've finished combing you're supposed to leave it for 20 minutes so now we're going to leave it for 20 minutes hey guys so it hasn't dried yet but this is the result so far um, as you can see it's definitely quite shiny I guess that's because it's a metallic dye um, I'm not sure, I will have to look on their website to double check um, whether when they say metallic they just mean the colour result or whether it's an actual metallic dye like the ones you can't use bleach ever after you've used because if that's the case then I might not be able to ever colour my hair for quite a while <laughs> I'll let you know um, so that if it is then you don't use it inadvertently because the amount of maintenance that white blonde hair needs from bleaching would be impossible if you couldn't actually put bleach near your hair because of metallic dye um, it's looking nice enough. I think it's going to probably dry to a kind of blondy, silvery, platinum-y kind of colour. I don't think it's going to give the kind of chrome colour that it said it was. I mean, its colour name was chrome. I was kind of expecting it to be like a proper grey silver colour. I think what I'm definitely going to do is put some Directions Silver Toner over the top um, just to tone out the last bits of yellow. It hasn't actually quite grabbed all of them and it is making some of my hair look actually a bit darker but not cooler do you know what i mean it's not it's still quite a warm tone at the roots um and it's kind of also darkened them a bit which is kind of not very helpful so i'm probably going to put some direction silver toner on next um i don't think i'd buy this again at 11.99 um for the fact that it's come out like this um and i'll see what it looks like when it's dry i will just put a picture up at the end of this video to show you what it looks like when it's dry um but i'm not completely happy with it. I mean, sure, if this is the colour result you're actually after, that's great, but I would say that it's a long way off silver, having had silver hair now for about a year. I think I know what I'm looking for in silver hair colour, and this is not what I'm after personally. <laughs> if it's what you're after, great, go for this one. Um, um, so this is the result. As you can see, it's kind of more of a pearl beige blonde. I mean, it's still very definitely a blonde shade there rather than any kind of chrome. Um, so I will definitely be going back over this with the Direction Silver Toner. Um, but this is the result. So I'm not going to buy this again. But obviously if this is the kind of thing you're looking for if you want your hair to look kind of, I don't know, light blonde. I don't think it suits me at all but it might work for somebody else. Who knows? Um, I particularly don't like the fact that any hair that's in a bit of shadow looks a lot darker than any hair that's like not in a bit of shadow. Um, yeah, there's actually quite a lot about this that I don't like. like it kind of looks like old lady hair to me. But that might be your thing. Um, I'm going to go for my Direction Silver Toner again because it's what I know and love. And the result is predictable and a lot more happy than this colour. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm sure I'll see you again in my next tutorial, whatever that might be, or in any of my other random videos that I tend to do from time to time. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments um, if you want any more um, hair tutorials on anything. I think I've pretty much covered everything to do with silver hair at this point though, so I'm not entirely sure what else there is left to do. Um, we've ventured into white hair for a little while as well, although I kind of went back to my beloved silver again. But yeah, um, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Um, okay, cheers, bye.